Hey there, my friend, welcome. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project. And in today's video, my team and I prepare for you a kick butt at home dumbbell only workout. So if you're stuck at home right now, the gym's closed and you wanna get a killer workout head to toe that works your entire body in under 30 minutes, then this is the workout for you. It just requires a pair of dumbbells and around five feet of floor space or so. So what I'm gonna do is go over this workout right here and give you the structure of how it works and you're gonna see me demo um, a set of each of these so you know exactly what to do so you can start using this this week to really build strength, endurance, burn some fat, improve your flexibility and mobility. This workout does it all. So this workout is based on the concept of AMRAP, which stands for as many reps as possible. We have seven exercises and we're going to do as many reps as possible in one minute. So we're going to do dumbbell squat shrugs, which two dumbbells on your side, you're going to squat and on the top, you're going to do a shrug. Now, when I say as many reps as possible, I'm not saying go as fast as possible. I still want you to go through some good tempo cues that I'm going to show you when I actually demonstrate this. But basically, you're going to try to do as many reps in this good tempo in one minute. I basically want you under tension in each of these exercises for one minute, which is incredibly effective. So we're we're gonna do dumbbell squat shrugs for one minute, then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds to one minute and move on to exercise number two, which is a dumbbell row to deadlift. So we're getting some good muscle building um, movements like the squats, like the shrugs, like the rows, the deadlifts. We're also combining them in a kind of a circuit fashion so it's gonna be more metabolic and fat burning as well and get your volume up. So this is again, one minute, as many reps as possible. You're gonna see the tempo cues when I demonstrate this in just a second. And after that, we're gonna rest 30 seconds to one minute, move on to exercise number three, the renegade row. So we're in a, a plank position with those two dumbbells. Row one, row two, push up. You're gonna see me do those. Very challenging on your core, great on your back, great on your arms, great for your chest, shoulders, tries. Amazing exercise. As many reps as we can in one minute, then we're gonna rest. 30 seconds to one minute and go on to standing shoulder press. Again, AMRAP one minute, rest, hammer curls, as many reps as possible, uh, one minute, and then we're gonna rest. We're gonna do one arm floor press. So on my back, one arm chest press for one minute, as many reps as possible. Switch the dumbbell to the other side. Um, another shoulder, another chest press. And this is an amazing exercise. If you've never done a one arm floor press, it's so great for isolating the chest, shoulders, and triceps of one side and working your core at the same time. Then finally, we're gonna finish with some dumbbell dead bugs, which are a great core exercise that many people haven't done. So again, this workout is incredible. We're gonna run through this entire circuit head to toe, seven exercises. You're gonna be under tension for one minute each of those. So that's seven minutes under tension, just running this through one, which is very, very effective. A lot of volume in a short amount of time. And if you wanna repeat this two, three more times, you can have a 14, 21, maybe even 28 minute workout. Totally kick butt. I didn't factor in the rest, so you get the idea. The math was off there, but basically you can have a 30 minute workout or so, um, and it's absolutely incredibly effective. So without further ado, I'm gonna move this board over here. I'm gonna pop down here on the floor with a pair of dumbbells. I'm gonna show you how to do all these exercises, one full circuit, and let's get you started on this workout. Fitfatherproject.com. All right, so let's get into this dumbbell only workout. Our first exercise is the dumbbell squat into shrug. We're gonna do it for one minute, um, as many reps as we can with the proper tempo. So to start this off, we're gonna go over the form points here. You're gonna get the dumbbells. Um, they're gonna be right outside your feet here. Your feet are gonna be roughly shoulder width, maybe a little inside, whatever's comfortable for you. But the dumbbells are gonna be at your sides. You're gonna bend down, chest is high, pull them up right here. This is the starting position. So I'm right here, deep breath, squat down. The dumbbells stay tight to the sides, come up at the top, shrug, down, squat, up, shrug. So this is the tempo, it's like down, one, two, up, shrug. So each rep's taking around four seconds, which means in the one minute, we're probably gonna get somewhere around 12 to 15 reps, depending on how quickly we're going. But if you go even slower, I'm fine with it. I wanna make sure you're keeping tension through the arms, through the legs, powerful shrug, good. So that is the dumbbell squat shrug. It's really great. It's gonna work your arms as well as your legs. And your legs are gonna be in continuous tension. So when you come up, keep your legs and your glutes tight. Come on down. So we're gonna do this for one minute. And when the timer's up, using our phone or stopwatch, weights go down, we rest. 30 seconds, one minute. Moving on to our next exercise, which is the dumbbell row to deadlift. So the way this one works, we're gonna get into this kind of position right here for a dumbbell row. So weights are kind of like over my toes here. I'm gonna grab them, pull them up, shoulder blades come back into retraction here. I'm gonna row, down, pull, 
down, row, squeeze that back, down, weights come up, squeeze, down. This is wonderful exercise for your lats and your back and your hammies and your glutes and keeping tension in that back the entire time. Fire, down. Don't be afraid to go heavy here. And again, each rep probably takes around five, six seconds. So I expect you to get around 10 reps here in that minute. So good to use a timer, but if you don't wanna use a timer, you can just do reps around the tempo that I'm using here and get around 10 of them. Don't be afraid to go heavy. So that is the form on the dumbbell row to deadlift. I put the weights down, resting 30 seconds to one minute, and I want you to be challenged here. I want you to feel like by the time you're at the one minute mark around there, you basically have maybe one or two reps left in the, ta uh, reps left in the tank, but you're almost cashed. Third exercise, renegade row. This one is brutal. So what we're gonna do is get into a plank position with these dumbbells. I'm gonna tighten these up for a second. Um, and I'm gonna keep these things pretty tight and close inside. So they're about, I'd say if I took one of my hands inside, they're just outside my hand. Now I'm coming down here into a push-up position, plank position. Dumbbells are inside. I'm pulling a weight up, down, up, down, push up, up. That's one rep. Two reps. When I'm pulling this one up, I'm pushing hard through that other hand. Row up, push, push up. It's a core exercise. If you need more balance, get the feet wider and back. Makes it a little easier. Each rep should take probably around six seconds or so. So I'm assuming around 10 reps in that one minute time frame is a good thing to aim for. We're gonna rest, move on to our next exercise. Standing shoulder press. So, pretty self-explanatory. What we're gonna do here, weights are racked wherever it's comfortable for you. We're gonna press overhead, dumbbells touch, core is tight, right on down. So the tempo for this, explode, pause, one, two, pause, explode. One, two, pause, explode. One, two, pause, up. One, two, pause, up. One, two, pause, up. One, two, pause. Now, I keep on going through the one minute. Something that's important to consider. For this exercise, you're gonna need lighter weight than you used on those rows and on those dumbbell squat shrugs. You might be using, let's say, a 50 pound weight for those dumbbell squat shrugs. You're probably not gonna be shoulder pressing 50 pound dumbbells for a minute nonstop. So this would be a good time to go lighter on weights. And if you have kettlebells, you can use those too. But this is probably gonna be one of the lighter exercises in this sequence. Standing shoulder press. Again, the keys here, keep that core nice and tight. Don't let your back arch excessively, so keep the core in tight. Press overhead and down. Probably getting around 10 reps during, 10 to 12 reps during that time frame. After that, we're resting for one minute to 30 seconds to one minute. We do hammer curls, alternating. Great biceps exercise. So the way I like to do my hammer curls is curl across the body here. One, one, two, two. We're going for one minute. So I think over each rep's taking around three, four seconds. We're probably gonna get around eight to 10 reps. So go heavy, don't go too light here. I want you to really feel cached as you're getting to around that one minute mark where you almost can't do anymore. Keep on going, across, across. If this doesn't feel right for you and you feel like you prefer to do the standard dumbbell curl, that's fine. If you prefer, do the two arm dumbbell curl. Um, I would say good luck. It's very hard to do this for one minute nonstop, but that's totally a great option as well. I really don't care what kind of curl you prefer. We wrote in hammer curls into this program um, just because it's a really nice exercise not a lot of people do, and we like this across version, um, but that's good. Hammer curls, one minute. Rest, 30 seconds to one minute. And we're gonna move on to our chest work on the floor. So from this point out on the chest work, we're only gonna need one dumbbell. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a single arm um, dumbbell floor press. Love this exercise. 
So we're gonna get the one weight, and this weight is gonna have to be heavier than what we use for the shoulder press and the hammer curl. I'm gonna grab this sucker, I'm gonna roll back with it, just like this. And what I'm gonna do is press overhead, keeping this chest tight like this with only one arm. This other arm's out here just to balance, basically. Come down nice and slow, feel your chest contract, keep tension, fire right on up. And so I want you to feel like the weight's coming outside and then pushing right back through. So it's not a large range of motion, but I want you to really concentrate on feeling your chest and keeping that core tight all the way through. We're doing each arm for one minute, as many reps as possible. So let's say this is 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. I come down, I roll it across, I press the other arm right here, immediately, no rest, right on down, because this is kind of like isolating that pec, chest, shoulders, triceps. Don't be afraid to go heavy here. Now, the heavier you go, the more tightness you're gonna have to have in your core and the more brace you're gonna need in your feet because this exercise is loaded on one side of your body. It's uneven on purpose. But that's what also makes it amazing on your chest. And one thing I also found that's helpful is if you actually tilt the dumbbell a little bit back like this so it's almost pulling you down, you have to almost do this fly kind of motion to keep the dumbbell in and you might feel it even more in your chest. But this is a wonderful chest exercise, great isolation. So one minute each arm, then we're going down. We're gonna stay in the same position for our last exercise, the dead bug. So we got both these dumbbells here. Now we're gonna get the feet are gonna come up to this 90 degree position right here. Weights come up right here, so this is the start of the dead bug. Um, and we will have rested in between those two, um, not in between the two one-arm dumbbell um, presses, but after we finish both arms, we rest. But with the dead bug here, we're gonna shift the weights back just a little bit. So they're pulling me back, so my core has gotta keep tight to do this. And at, at one at a time, I'm bringing my legs down, up, down, up. This is a modified dumbbell dead bug. You feel it in your core. You're gonna have feel this tension of these weights pulling you this way towards my head. And my legs are extending out. So one minute, good form here. It's gonna work your arms and your triceps too. And you can get them pretty far. You know, you can even involve your lats a little bit more if you hold these really far back, but you're gonna feel this whole body tension exercise. It's absolutely wonderful. So that is the dead bug and the weights come down safely and we get up and we have done our first full circuit. At this point, I would rest and I'd go after it all the way again. Dumbbell squat to shrug, dumbbell um, row to deadlift, renegade row, standing shoulder press, hammer curls, one arm, one arm, dead bug. Then I rest and I can do the circuit again. You can do the circuit as many times as you want, honestly. Um, and this is a, a phenomenal full body pumped up exercise. Again, every single exercise, every single um, set is one minute of constant tension, which is roughly equivalent to around 10 reps based on rep tempo. So you can either count that out with a timer exactly, or you can do 10 reps, I'm fine with either. But do challenge yourself and go heavy. And again, a key point is that on those shoulder presses, um, you're gonna have to go lighter than you were on those squats and the, the rope deadlifts, and you're gonna have to maybe adjust the weight on some other exercises. So adjustable dumbbells are nice, and you can use kettlebells for this entire exercise too. Really great. So I hope you found this valuable. We know these are really special times where so many of us are forced to change our routines, to work out at home, um, to adopt new habits. Now our families are at home with us. So this is an amazing workout and I hope you found this valuable. And if you're not subscribed to our Fit Father or Fit Mother Project YouTube channels, subscribe. We literally have hundreds of videos across the channel with amazing at-home workouts just like these. And this week alone, we published a body weight workout. This dumbbell workout you've seen here, a resistance band workout. So you have all these different options. We literally have dozens of free workouts on our channels. And we also have great training on nutrition, supplementation, how to boost your immune system, how to get and stay motivated, how to get your family healthy too. We're the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project. This is what we do. So thank you for being a part of our community. God bless you and your family. Um, and hit us the thumbs up like button if you found this valuable. Drop me a comment below if you actually do this workout. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. Um, and subscribe to our channels and we'll see you around our YouTube channel, my friend. Check out our blog and our free resources down in the description and I'll talk to you very soon.